Awesome. Hey guys, so today we'll be uh, covering serverless. So at a high level, what is uh, serverless? So serverless.com is a framework that um, many uh, Lambda function, a a a Azure function, Google function users use today to manage their deployment and their CI around uh, uh, serverless applications. It's an awesome framework to like streamline all your kind of serverless needs. Um, irrespective of the cloud provider, it's managed by like one common framework. And you can imagine that serverless has done all the wiring to figure out how to integrate with the various cloud providers like AWS, Azure, and GCP. So the user doesn't need to know CloudFormation or Terraform or you know pick out those specific modules uh, or those infra provisioners per um, a cloud provider. It's just one generic framework. So what Harness supports today is serverless.com with Lambda. So with our AWS um, ecosystem. So what you'll see is in, in serverless, we you user would pick the uh, deployment type of serverless Lambda you would fetch your uh, manifests. So serverless has a manifest concept called the serverless YAML, which you can use to define at a high level what the function is, what are the routes, what are the endpoints. You can define an API gateway, you can install plugins, you can define layers, all in the serverless uh, YAML itself. And then when we apply that serverless YAML, uh, under the hood, CloudFormation is actually going out and doing all the wiring. Just serverless is just a more declarative way to define those things without having to learn the nuances of cloud formation. So that YAML is like a, a, a simpler interface for our users. Now, uh, where would we fetch the artifact? So uh, the serverless function is packaged code, right? So normally what someone would do is they would build the code, package it, publish it to Artifactory or S3, and in that package would have the artifact code, it would have the, the artifact uh, actually built artifact, and it would have the serverless YAML all packaged in one you know uh, repo essentially. And then um, you can actually define um, the infrastructure of where it's gonna be deployed. So you'd specify an environment You'd have you know an AWS connector because we're going to use that connector to authenticate with with your 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 cloud provider. So serverless will use those credentials when we run a service serverless deploy. It's using these credentials essentially. Um, you can specify a region and then serverless has a construct of stage. So by default, um, a serverless deploys to a dev stage. That's like it's out of the box default behavior. But uh, you can also define um, a stage like you can give it map map it to the stage name this field takes in an expression um it's totally up to you so some users define the serverless stage and some users do um like a, a fixed value um uh, that they set in the stage itself so they don't pass it in at runtime it's just all dynamically computed for them um with the expression and then uh, we'll do the serverless deploy. So if you look here, uh, it's there's not much logic needed. Like the user will get this serverless deploy functionality out of the box. And if they want to pass in some command flags, they can. Like you can say, you know, you can run something like this where it's passing in this. If you want to override the stage, you could do that. You could override the region. And you could have like a conceal to like mask the secrets. Um, out of the box. So like when I do a, do a deploy, when I pr publish the serverless YAML in the dry run, you would know that, you know, the secrets are masked or something like that. So there's some flags that you can append to the deployment command to tweak the behavior. Now, um, if you look at uh, the execution, you'll notice that we are fetching the files just like we do for any other one. We'll set up a serverless directory. This is the directory that has serverless two or three installed and the user can uh, choose the version of serverless they wanna use when they configure the manifests and Harness will configure with that version and we will perform uh, the deployment, serverless deployment commands with that particular version. Uh, we'll download the artifact from Artifactory or S3, whatever source you define. We'll configure the AWS credentials through the connector We'll install any plugins into the directory and then we'll prepare rollback as well. So the, we'll, we'll take a snapshot of the rollback data. So when we do a, a fail, a deployment, we can easily roll back. And then we're just running serverless.